playtime and today I'm going to show you how to make a troll's headband. How cool is that? I've got pink, blue and purple and I'm going to make three of them. So you can see what it looks like in all different colours. So for this activity today, you'll need some scissors, some flowers. I've just recycled some old like headbands and like hair ties. You'll also need a headband. I've recycled these ones too. These used to be my Easter bunny ears and they all started falling apart. So I thought rather than chuck them, let's make a cool headband out of it. So I've got those. You also need some ribbon. I've got um, the same colors as my material. So I can mix and match if I want to, or I can match it all together. Um, totally up to you. Just be creative. Um, I might actually match the colors as I go, but Let's just have some fun and see what happens. And you also need some tool or tutu material. So um, I got this from Spotlight in Australia, but if you've got a material store near you, you could go there and see what they've got. I paid $3.99 a meter and I only used one meter of each color. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use all of it, but you know, I just thought better than running out. <laughs> so let's get started and let's make a really, really cool troll's headband. Woo! So the first thing you want to do is get your headband and your ribbon. I've chosen to go with the pink to match my pink tutu material. So what I'm going to, I'm trying not to use glue making this because I think, you know, if we can make it less messy, why not? So placing the ribbon up on your headband, start a little bit higher than the bottom. And we're just going to start wrapping that around the headband. The reason why I'm going up higher and then starting down low is so then that way it's really, really tight around the headband and it will just hold it into place. And you just wanna wrap that all the way around the headband. And then what we're going to do is just tie a little knot just down the end. And that will just keep it all intact. And I'm going to do a double knot. There we go. We can just wrap that again and tuck it in. Then we're just going to cut the excess material off. And so there it is. So now I've got the pink ribbon around my headband, which makes it look pretty much brand new again. Um, now, once we've done this, we go straight into putting our material on there. So we'll just pop the headband aside and we'll start cutting up strips of our tutu material. So I'm just gonna fold it over. So then that way I can cut two strips at once. It's a lot quicker. And you don't have to measure it out. You can do it however wide you like. So here is my tutu material, my tool, and that is now cut up into wide strips. Um, I'm just gonna pop them on the floor and I'm gonna show you one by one on how we're going to do this and what to do, just so it doesn't look too messy on the camera. So now we've got our strip of material and our headband. So now what we wanna do is fold the material in half and then we wanna pop it underneath the headband halfway, pull, it around so it meets up the top. So now you've got both of them up the top and there's a loop in one bit. And what you're gonna do is put your fingers through that loop, hold onto the other two ends of the material and you wanna pull that through. And then just pull it nice and tight, nice and tight until it forms a nice tight knot onto the headband like that. And we're gonna do that all the way around and it's going to make me look like I've got awesome troll hair. So let's keep going with that. And we just want to repeat it over and over until we have a lot of hair. So 
what I'm going to do is just so I can get some longer bits in there, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do the same knot but on the existing hair bits. So for instance, I'll get a new strip and I'm going to halve it again. And then I'm going to grab one of the hair strands that's already attached and I'm going to wrap it around just like you do with your shoelaces and pull it back through the loop and we're going to tighten it. And then that way it's attached to the hair that's attached to the headband. And we're just gonna get some extra lengths in there. Okay, so now I've put all of the material on my headband and it looks so crazy. And if you put it on your head now, I look like a crazy troll. <laughs> so we have to tame it. And we, you know, like we brush our own hair, we're gonna have to kinda brush this one, but not with a brush, just with our fingers. So we're going to pop it up into a high ponytail and we're going to pull all the long bits out. So then that way it looks nice and neat and tidy. And you just wanna make sure that all in here, they all tuck in nicely and it just looks like hair. <laughs> so just keep doing that all the way around until you are happy and work out what side do you like the best. I think I like this side better. So I'm just going to pull some of the knots forward and just make sure that it sits nice and full. And if you get a straight one like that, just give it a little bit of a twist and then pull it up. So then that way you get a better effect. So once you've done that, you now want to choose a ribbon to put around like a hair tie. So I've chosen some yellow ribbon that I had in my box and I'm going to now tie all of that material together so it looks like a nice bright hair tie. You can use a hair tie of your own if you want to, totally up to you, um, but I'm just going to use a ribbon. And I'm just tying it the same way that you would tie your shoelace, but a double knot. Something like that. And then what we can do is pull it up, the material, and pull the ribbon down. And then that will give us a better hair effect. <laughs> Looks so good. So that is looking much better. Very tame, I reckon. <laughs> so now that we've tied the ribbon around the hair to make it look tame, we're now gonna cut those little bits off and we're going to put a nice bow there. So using your scissors, we're just going to get rid of any excess material. Oops, 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 oops. it's getting all tangled. And we're going to use our yellow bow again and we're gonna go around it, but a lot nicer this time. Okay, so using your ribbon, we've wrapped it around the hair. We just wanna measure it nice and even. So remember, we've gotta make a bow out of this and we'll cut down the ends or get rid of the excess ribbon. And we're now going to do a knot, just like you tie your shoes. So do a knot. And then we're going to do a loop. Then we're gonna run around the loop, under the bridge, and ta-da! We've got a nice bow. Well, we will, <laughs> when I'm finished. <laughs> but what we wanna do is just loosen and tighten. And that will just get it sitting perfectly. Okay, and there's our bow, a nice yellow bow in our beautiful troll hair. Ta -da! <laughs> but it's not finished yet. The last thing we wanna do is pop some flowers on there. So I've just recycled these from an old headband that I used to have. It used to sit like this. And it's got elastic all between them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and cut them so then that way I can use the elastic wrap it around the head, the headband and tie it on. And then that way we won't have to use any glue. So let's give it a go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of this knot loose. Oh, just gotta find one. Here's one. Let me just pop my scissors in there just to loosen it a little bit, but I'm not cutting it. 
so I can find the, where the hole is. Okay, so there it is there. So now I'm gonna hold that out and I'm going to feed that through. Pull it out the other side. And then we're going to tie it. So now I've got my nice little flower on my headband. Okay, so now that we've got the flower on and we've got the bow, the last thing that we wanna do is just tidy up this mess up here. And all we have to do is using our scissors, we just want to cut this material on really, really sharp angles so it can kind of go into like points. And you just wanna kind of like, you know, even half the width that I've done so you look like you've got a little bit more hair on uh, up there and, you know, just have a play with it. So then that way it's a little bit more floppy. Otherwise, you know, it might look a little bit too stiff and it might look like material. So we don't want that to happen. So we'll just, I'm just gonna half mine just up the top, just so it looks a little bit more full. And they don't have to be neat. Just no one's going to see it really. It's just really giving it some texture. That looks much better. You can definitely tell the difference. And then if we just use our fingers and we can just twirl it all together. And ta-da! We have a pink troll headband hair. And what do you think? Does it look good? Does it see me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Pinky the Troll. Come and meet my friends. So now you've met my Smurf friends. I've got Pinky on my head, Bluey and Purple. So I don't know which one you like the best. I love pink, but comment below. Tell me which one you like. Have a go at home. You'll do great. And I'd love to see what you've made on my Instagram. Tag me, Kay's Playtime, and I can see what you guys make at home. So it's so exciting. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for watching how to make a Smurf headband. Oh, looks so good. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.